Hi guys and welcome to Coffee with Nadia where we love handbags and everything else girly. So today I'm doing a tag and this tag is called Unicorn Bag Tag and it was started by the beautiful Autumn Backman. I have been watching Autumn since I want to say she had a, about 3,000 subscribers and I love her channel because she kind of similarly to me she loves her luxury but she also loves her luxury on a budget and so she does buy some Amazon inspired luxury items and I love that about her that she you know she has no qualms about buying inspired bags she has no problems buying pre-loved bags and then sometimes you just have to go to the store and buy them so anyway you guys check out her channel I will link it down below for us let's get started in this video Let's get started with unicorn items that I have. And the first one you've seen in many of my videos if you follow my channel. If you didn't, it's this beautiful, it's a Saint Jacques Louis Vuitton. It's one of my oldest handbags I own. Um, it was made in, I know it's on here, in 96. Um, it's a blue, it's like a blueberry epi leather handbag and Here's the LV on there. And this is just, I wanted this color, I wanted this bag. It comes in like yellow and red and green. Would I say that the other colors would be on my unicorn list? Not so much, but if I came across one, I might just buy it. Um, I've, I bought this for $400 and after, after I purchased it, and I purchased it, I wanna say like four years ago, the price has not been lower than 450 475 500 600 so i don't know why but the price for this bag is not going down for whatever reason but i do love it it's it's a very vintage bag it's beautiful and it was definitely my unicorn item i you i was i think it took me like three years to find it something like that it took me a while um I'm not gonna lie and say specific number because I'm not just not sure but it take it did you know take me a while to find it so this is item number one item number two another Louis Vuitton and this was a uniform a unicorn scarf check out how beautiful this scarf is it's this ombre purplish um, uh, like a violet ombre color so it goes from dark to this gorgeous gorgeous light and then back to the dark and it has like kind of golden um lvs on it and there's your there's this end right here and it is you know it's obviously leather and just wanted to show you there's that louis vuitton it's absolutely stunning. I love, love this scarf. So this was one of those things. I saw it. We were. I remember we were driving on the way to church, and I saw it. And, and yes, I paid more than retail for it because you're not gonna find it again. And this is something I really was looking for. Um, but I I saw it on Fashion File. I, I ended up just going, you know, on the Fashion File app started looking through it and I was like oh wow my husband so by the time we actually got to church I bought it because my husband's like if you don't buy it now you're gonna whine about it you're gonna want this just get it and you know just get it and get it over with so that's what I did and that's how I got my beautiful bandeau oh I just think it's so so beautiful so the third item actually just chances of this happening is incredible so I'm watching my youtuber friend M style and she has a video where she's just selling a few of her stuff and the minute I saw this scarf I was like get out get out I, I didn't even finish the video I contacted her and I bought it within like minutes after contacting her I paid her right away I was like ship it out and it is a Chanel, out of all things, a Chanel scarf. Um, 
So my style, I'm the kind of girl who is black, white, gray, and then with a the pop of color. So I can wear this with a pink dress. I can wear this with whatever color dress, and I can wear this to work with a suit also. So this scarf, let me just get the measurements on it real quick, and I'm going to do it in inches. 12 inches by uh, 24. 12 by 34 inches so it's quite a long 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 scarf it goes nicely like this with a suit or whatnot not beautiful you guys and it's just simple it's clean it has a Chanel right on there let me show you that on this ivory part it has Chanel right there and it, this was my unicorn item, but it, I'm going to say almost like unofficially. I've seen it. You know how you see something and you're, you're like, oh, I'll never get that. That was the type of unicorn item that this was because I thought it was gorgeous, but I was not about to spend the original cost for it. And I've never seen it ever on Fashion File, Yugi's Closet, The Real Real. It just never came up so for me it was a unicorn but it was one of those unicorns that kind of unattainable so that is why I I just I jumped at it when I saw it so that is my third unicorn item now let's get into some unicorn items that I may never get which is fine too absolutely fine so number one is this handbag and this is the multicolor white I need you bag it runs around five and a half thousand right now which i will not spend on a handbag number one and number two this is the reason i love louis vuitton i remember being at a mall and seeing this on a you know at a, at a, at a i don't know if it was like a it was inside of i think it was uh marshall fields at the time i was 16. so marshall fields had had a section of louis vuitton if i'm not mistaken um, in Oak Brook over here and I just remember seeing it and gawking over it and the little bow just kind of I love little bows and that just it was such perfection to me like I I, I had like, it was just perfection and there's another youtuber who actually has it and I was like oh my goodness what a lucky girl but anyway this is a very rare handbag and it's one that i absolutely absolutely adore and it's my number one unicorn that i will probably never get which is absolutely fine but moving on and number two this bag i almost got i literally was it, it was actually in my checkout box and i or my shopping cart or whatever it's called and I ended up not getting it. My friend wanted it also, and she was on the brink of getting it, not getting it. Um, and she ended up getting it, and I did it. <laughs> I was just like, ah, it's okay. Yes. So the bag is called Ruby's Selena MM Tote. And Mark Jacobs was the one who designed it, uh, designed it and it right now it runs about 2500 i would say on the resale market or pre-loved market i just think it's such a unique and beautiful beautiful handbag i absolutely love it so this one is one of those bags that it's actually possible for me to get it one of these days but for now it's my unicorn at number three is a scarf i do like scarves yes so this is a black and white polka dot scarf designed by Kusama. Um, I believe it was in her line and it's an infinity scarf. And it's such a beautiful, and yes, I do like black and white, but it's just so beautiful. It will go with, just with a beautiful black, you know, coat or even with a suit or if with us with like a colorful sweater like a pink sweater or something and you have the black and white polka that would look beautiful so yes it's definitely if I see it if you guys see it let me know because that one I will jump on and I will get it as the minute I see it because 
I think it's absolutely perfection. It's beautiful. It's clean. And um, I do like the designer a lot. And uh, there's many reasons why. But um, that is just absolutely one of my unicorn items for sure. Um, now this next one is also a unicorn item. But I feel like... And I definitely could get it. But I feel like every time I'm about to get it or that I come across it, it's just overpriced. It's insanely overpriced. And I'm just like, okay, for the same price, I can get a new Neverfull. And this is just a little clutch. So, but I think it's perfection. It's vernis leather. Um, black vernis leather, gold hardware. And it's just a beautiful clutch for any event, you know, any outing. It's just, it's such a beautiful, clean, classic bag. And so far it sits on my unicorn list because I just, I feel like financially, like every time I'm about to buy it, seriously, I have like a list of things I can buy for it or a list of bags I can buy for it. And just, I feel like it's, I feel like it's overpriced. So we'll leave it at that. And then um, the last item, you know, you guys, it's one of those items that's on my unicorn list and I'm like, uh, yes, it's overpriced, but there's just so many things that, so many reasons I, I might not even get it if I come across it. And one of them is quality. So this is a Chanel brooch. It's the classic CC with the pearls and it's beautiful it's gorgeous i love pearls i absolutely adore pearls but if you watch enough youtube videos and speak to enough people in the community you know that the brooches that chanel has is not the best quality the pearls pop out the the little snap on the back breaks sometimes i mean but i still think it's the prettiest pretty prettiest brooch ever and I am considered possibly buying a dupe but um, the real thing is the real thing <laughs> bottom line and it's just I don't know if I can get one that's beautiful quality um, reasonable price I might just jump in it but I don't know there's so far it's just one of those list things on my list that I'm kind of just 50 50 on because yes I really want it and no I don't want it if if it has quality issues and I don't know if it does because some of them just last and less if you disagree with me on especially on the Chanel brooch let me know down below I would love to hear your opinion because maybe you know maybe I just listened to the three people that had the problem with the with the brooches and it wasn't three it was a lot more but if you're one of those people, you maybe have one of this brooch and know somebody who has this brooch and it's just never ending, never lasting, doesn't break, doesn't have any issues, let me know down below. With that being said, I will tag some of my wonderful YouTube friends down below. And if you haven't done this tag and you're interested and I don't mention you, please feel free to do this tag also. And make sure to tag Autumn Beckman uh, as the one who started the tag. With that being said, you guys are awesome and you know it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video if you haven't yet. And I will see you soon. Bye!